I'm Clint Grover with Never Done Industries, and today we're going to talk about 2 bolt versus 4 bolt mains. Now first off, I'd like to thank Bill Schultz for sharing some of his wealth of engine knowledge with me for this video. Who's Bill Schultz, you ask? Eh, just one of the top race engine builders on the planet. If you've ever raced against one of his engines, you know exactly who I'm talking about. All right, let's get into this. First up, what is a main? All right, first a disclaimer. My producers think I need to make this video pop or have some funny catchphrase to make this video fun. But stay with me on this. It can be a bit wordy at times, maybe even boring, but this is super important information for anybody who's looking to crank up their power. Super important information! All right, so let's get to it. Now inside an internal combustion engine, there are pistons moving up and down. That's what she said. Sorry. Those pistons are hooked to a big metal shaft called a crankshaft. The main is the area where the crankshaft is bolted to the engine block. If you flip your engine over and take off the oil pan, you'd be looking at it. Now what does two bolt and four bolt main mean? Okay, after you lay a crankshaft into the main journal, you need a way to hold it in place. To accomplish this, we use main caps. Now how many bolts a main is refers to how many bolts each main cap requires. Now here's a picture of a two bolt main. Notice how each main journal and each main cap has two bolts. Over here is a picture of a four bolt main. You can clearly see here that each main journal and each main cap have four bolts, i.e. four bolt main. Now every manufacturer is different, but for this video we're going to be talking primarily about GM two bolt and four bolt mains. So which one's better? All right, my producers would just like me to say that the four bolt is the best to move forward onto something cool. But, to be honest with you, it really kind of depends on what you're looking for. All right, hold on, let me break this down for you. All right, let's start with the pros and the cons of the two bolt. Pros, they're cheap. They're really easy to find. GM put two bolt mains in just about everything they made for several years. If you change your main bolts to some high quality studs, in a big block two bolt, you can handle around 700 horsepower. A small block can handle about 400 horse before you start pushing the button. <laughs> Come on, guys. All right, the cons. Two bolt mains are prone to what's known as cap walk. Now, all of the force of the engine is transferred down to the main journals. And with only two bolts holding each main cap in place and that big metal crankshaft spinning around in there, it's not going to take much to get those main caps to move around where you don't want them to be. Now, this causes galling and deforming and all kinds of bad things inside your engine. Now let's look at the pros and the cons of the 4-bolt. Pros, they're much stronger. I've seen 4-bolt small blocks handle 1,200 horsepower. And if you upgrade to an aftermarket block, it's even higher than that. If you're running force induction or a big shot of nitrous, you really need to be looking at 4-bolt mains. The higher the horsepower, the more clamping force is required to hold those main caps from being shoved through the oil pan. All right, now the cons. 4-bolt mains are a little more expensive and they're a little harder to find. But the good news is that the automotive aftermarket has plenty of options for you to choose from if you don't want to go OE and you got a little bit of money to spend. How important are the bolts? Your mains are only as strong as the fasteners holding them in place. So you need to be looking at a high quality fastener like an ARP or if you're looking to save a little bit of money, Procomp makes some good fasteners for those of us on a budget. Also, if you've got a two bolt main and you want to make a performance engine out of it, you really need to upgrade from bolts to studs. Now it's not anything fancy, you just pull the bolts out, screw in a stud, and you'll save a lot of problems down the road. Alright guys, we're almost there, try to stay with me. Warning, do not try to reuse your old main cap bolts when you rebuild your engine. I don't care how good they look, throw them away, put some new ones in there. They've been heated and stretched a million, zillion, trillion times, they are no good, they are junk, they are garbage, throw them away. <laughs> Can I convert a two bolt to a four bolt main? Yes. There are aftermarket kits available for converting two bolt to four bolt mains. Here's a picture of one. You'll need to have a machine shop like Thunder Racing Engines do it for you. For a small block Chevy, you're going to be looking about 500 bucks by the time it's all said and done. All right, now if you're looking for big power numbers, the aftermarket not only offers four bolt blocks with thicker cylinders and decks, but also billet main caps to handle the incredibly high forces that high horsepower engines generate. Couple that with some high quality fasteners and you've got a winning combination. Alright, here's a quick recap. If you're broke, get a two bolt block, add some studs. You'll be good to around 400 horse on a small block 
about 700 horse on a big block. But if you've got visions of wheelies and turbos dancing in your head, get a four bolt and go for it. Hopefully that answers all your questions about two bolt versus four bolt mains. If you've got any questions you'd like me to answer, hit me up at professor at neverdoneusa.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out all of our other social media. Thank you for watching.